got the Hey, what's up guys? Keith Kelfus. Uh, look at my kitchen table. Today is goals review day. And writing down my goals. I like to do this quarterly. I just spread them out all over the table so I can sort through them. And this is the way my pea brain learns. Uh, I spent the last semester in college writing all this stuff down on paper because I didn't understand anything in school. And if you're anything like me, maybe your brain learns like this. So... And if you look at this, this is actually a bunch of chicken scratch in a certain way. I'm writing out like graphs and charts and little pictures of trucks and guys working across timelines and um, different, like say on the CEO of my company, these is my responsibilities as marketing, sales, bookkeeping, labor, employees, the different types of work that I do, the different months of the year, the different modalities of all that, um, different ideas for different crews goals, dreams, and visions, and I draw little stick figures of, like, people. That's the way my brain understands this stuff, so this might really work for you. The spring is coming, and there's nothing you can do about that. Um, see, that's, like, the busiest times of the year. Uh, different pots and buckets for, you know, like personal savings and bills. This is for dreams. This got wet. That's oh, not good. Uh, I wanted to show you something here specifically, though. I want to do a lot of this stuff on the whiteboard in the office, but I'm doing it right here right now. Might as well make a video. So, um, here you go. You have an idea. So you, you know, you get online, you do marketing and graphic design to create advertisements, whether it be uh, physical, tangible, or on the internet. You get the phone ringing. You go through the qualify process. You sell over the phone. You book jobs and quotes. You get face to face with the person. You sell them the job. You book the job, then you, you know, get your labor team and orchestrate the, the job together. Gear up, go do the job. Collect the money, send and receive paperwork, get referrals, get the money. You pay the employees, keep them happy. And you have all these business expenses. Reinvest, grow, expand the business, do it again and again and again. See? Uh, here's another thing. This is just a quick precursor to show you, hey, how can you do this for yourself and your business? I'm looking at my time. Here's a 24-hour graph, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. I say, okay, I sleep three hours a day. I spend two hours a day having anxiety and panic attacks and worrying about stuff I can't control. And I'm on the phone constantly, which is uh, a lot of it's very productive, actually. Uh, I spend that much a day actually physically working where I can't do anything else. Uh, a lot of time during the day I spend investing in the future and dreams. Here's my obligations. And that little tiny sliver of quality time that I get, that's like, say, laying in bed with the wife, cuddling and watching movie and laughing and just being fully present. I want that to be like three hours a day. But your 20s are your earning years, your 30s, I'm sorry, your 20s are your learning years, your 30s are your earning years. And if you guys are starting out young in business, go get it. Pounce on it. Jump on it. Jump on it. I'm really excited for you. It took me a lot of time suffering in a dead-end job and not understanding, thinking I was so stupid because my brain didn't work in the way that school taught me. I have to physically write stuff down, see? Uh, this is how much I want to make per day, how much I have to make per day. Figure out down to the dollar how much it costs to run your business per day. Say if I got a couple guys working, I'm 225 day in labor, 50 bucks in gas, 50 bucks in insurance, general liability, and uh, commercial driver's insurance, $50 in miscellaneous stuff. I invest about 500 a month back into my business nonstop. I'm going. And it costs me $400 a day to put the ignition in my truck and start the truck. Okay, so sometimes we do like 20 grand a month in the spring. I, I, dude, I got friends that do 20 grand a day. It's just, it's all relative to where you're at. I want to make $100 an hour profit for every hour that I work, which means I want to make five grand a week if I'm working 50 hours a week. That's profit after all expenses. $500 a day minimum I want to make. So have I done this before? Not yet. You know, probably, you know, well, I'm not going to get into that right now because it's not relevant what I make. But here's what your guys, if you pay a guy 11 and 12 and another guy 14 an hour, you got $37 an hour. If you only got two guys working the day, you're $23 an hour. How do you come up with all that money? Well, if that gives you any anxiety like it does me, here you go. Figure out what makes you money. 
Here's what makes me money. Don't do stuff that doesn't make you money unless you have to. If you're in the beginning of your business, you have to. But trimming whole properties, all the trees and all the shrubs and all that, makes me the most money. Doing landscape installs or huge mulch jobs or big window cleaning jobs of mansions where it's like a thousand bucks to clean windows in a mansion and I make like 700 in a few hours versus going and pulling the weeds for four hours and making 30 bucks. <laughs> so uh, to do a job like that, it's going to cost me 550 for a whole day to do a whole property trim and gas labor dump miscellaneous blah blah blah. So I'm going to have to charge, you know, with paying taxes, $1,850 to that customer to do that job if I want to walk away and make a 1000 bucks profit in that day. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, oh, here you go. So you have a thought. The thought is you need money to live. So you have another thought. How do I get money? Oh, I can run a landscape company. I can create ads and do advertising and marketing to get the phone to ring. When the phone rings, you can get on the phone and say, so-and-so services, how can I help you? You book the job, right? You get there, you sell the job. You, I'm sorry, book the job, you get the materials, get employees together and orchestrate. I know I already said this, but uh, do the job, get the money. Do that every single day for eight months a year, that's how much you'll make in a year. Like, step by step by step, walk it backwards in your mind. So if you have any fears or any things that you're afraid of, like I do, but in your business, stuff that you can't think because you're like, oh, I'm afraid of that. I don't understand that. How's that going to work? Uh. Right? Start getting in your brain and massaging those areas and, and playing it out and thinking of the ways it's going to work. And then your cat jumps on the table. I told you to get off the table. So this stuff really helped me. Try doing this in your business if you want. I draw little pictures of like trucks and guys working and all types of crazy stuff. This really helps me and it's helped me make a lot of flipping money in my business. Not as much as I'd like to make, but I mean, write down all your goals. Just go crazy at it. Get excited. If you got to do it at three in the morning because you don't have any other, you know, you got too many distractions, this helps a lot because it goes directly into the subconscious mind and really, you know, helps you out. So... Hope it uh, provides some value for you in the video. I'm going to get in the office and do a lot of the stuff on the whiteboard.